Hey, we're with George Henry now, and he is the pro here at Druid's Glen, and you are in for such a special treat. Uh, we all know Augusta in Georgia. Yeah, George? That's right. And But here in Ireland, this course is the Augusta of Ireland, as some know it, and we understand that you are playing uh, tour players. Just love this course, George. Certainly, yeah. We had uh, we hosted four Irish Opens. We were just after the course opened in 95, we were granted the Irish Open for one year, in an unprecedented move to have an Irish Open just after opening. And we were granted it for one year, we kept it for four. Such was the popularity of the golf course. And folks, I mean, it, the course isn't that old, but it is really being recognized throughout Europe and the world very quickly. It's one of the top designs. It is a parkland design, yeah, George? It certainly is. It's a very traditional parkland course, as you say, described as the Augusta of Europe. So it gives you an impression of it. In your pictures, you can see very much a tree-lined golf course. Wonderful. Now, getting into the course itself, what are some of the signature holes? Well, we'd like to say that virtually all the holes here, you have, when you get in play there, you'll see there's so many holes that are signature holes, but you're starting off, I mean, four is dog leg, right par four, the famous, very famous hole, and, and much loved by Colin Montgomery, I suppose, because of that played tee shot. And um, then six and seven are back to back dog legs, right to left, and then left to right, they, they kind of sit into each other. And then really you're getting into the Glen area on 12 and 13, they're probably the most uh, obvious signature holes, 12, 12 apart, three down the hill, much like 12 at Augusta, and then 13, uh, when the Irish Open was held here, one of the most difficult par fours in, in uh, European golf.